Guardian weapons are an unavoidable part of high-level Thargoid combat. To be able to hit the highest level interceptors hard, you will eventually need one. These rare weapons can only be acquired from technology brokers, who will, in turn, demand that prospective customers bring them materials in exchange for access to specific equipment. Hunting these materials down means learning how to explore the galaxy, with an eye towards finding and scavenging Guardian ruins. The process to acquire all the stuff you need is complex, but one common theme among Guardian weapons is the need for a weapon blueprint. Not all Guardian ruins are created equal. They have different layouts. All ruins, regardless of layout, produce only one type of blueprint. But the same layout in different locations can produce different blueprints. Canon Research has compiled a list of known ruins and the blueprints they generate. You can find that list here. It will also be linked below. Be sure the Guardian structures you visit actually have the blueprint type you are looking for. Remember to fit and load an SRV bay, as well as a fuel scoop, if you plan to journey alone. The ruin featured here is my favorite for hunting weapon blueprints, because its larger size also allows you to hunt for other materials while you farm the main blueprint. This site is in the Cole 173 sector, HR-M B23-3. Planet B7. It's a long supercruise flight, if you don't have a fleet carrier, so a supercruise assist module is a good idea for runs out here alone. Viewed from above, you can see all the different parts of the ruin. The main terminal is located here. Start and end each run from this point. If you try to raise the other pylons before the main terminal, they won't respond. The other pylons are located around the site. After the main terminal activates, you can visit these other pylons in any order, though I prefer a specific activation sequence that is easy to remember and repeat. Viewed from the sky, we'll travel around the site in a clockwise direction, hitting specific points to collect materials and charge the pylons before returning to the main terminal to expose the core and recover a weapon blueprint. To maximize time efficiency, we want to park our ship as close to the ruins as we can without parking along our activation route. That way, our SRV turret won't get shut off in the middle of a fight or while trying to charge a pylon. I favor parking here or here. Note that smaller ships fit best in these spots, so a Diamondback Explorer is about as large a ship as I would bring. Otherwise, the terrain can force you to park farther away. This isn't bad, it just takes extra time to load and unload after each run. Any ship you take to a Guardian Ruin should be equipped with a point defense utility. This can be placed on any dorsal-facing utility mount, so long as it has a clear, unobstructed view of the sky. PDCs remain active even while your ship is parked, and will defend you from any incoming missile-based projectiles. This is helpful when fighting the defensive sentinels that will emerge during a run. If you are using an advanced docking computer, get close to where you want to land, and then let the computer get things situated for you. The computer does a pretty good job at landing in tricky terrain, especially if you are using a medium or large ship. Manual landing is only slightly more difficult here, so either approach can work. For diving into Guardian Ruins, it's best to carry two SRVs, one Scarab and one Scorpion. This is because a hitbox bug can develop randomly, in which one kind of SRV loses the ability to strike Guardian relics on top of their towers. When this bug manifests, shots fired will phase through the relic. Switching SRV types seems to fix this problem reliably when it occurs. Menu logging can also resolve the issue, though less reliably. Start by collecting the Guardian relic. This device is a blue glowing prism that appears at towers across the site. This ruin has a relic tower in the same courtyard as the main terminal. Always perform this step first, as it will expose whether your instance is bugged. If you fire on the artifact and it doesn't break off, you're bugged. Return to your ship and switch SRV types. If this doesn't work, exit to the main menu and reload into the game. 
Activate the site by driving onto the pad located directly in front of the main terminal. Move forward slowly. Two Guardian pylons will emerge from the ground on either side of the main terminal when the ruin becomes active. All other pylons are now ready to be raised and charged. Since I'm driving a Scorpion, I have to be closer to the pylon to charge it effectively, but a Scarab can charge both pylons by shooting at them from the pad. I like to circle the site clockwise, where the main terminal is at the 12 o'clock position. This means activating the pylon on the left first. SRVs have an easier time activating pylons from manual turret mode. Since I use a HOTAS, I'm able to move and shoot at the same time. If you are on keyboard or controller, you may need to stop and enter turret mode to fire from a stationary position. The route I take through the ruins uses landmarks to make turns at specific spots. This leaning structure has three destructible panels that you can shoot off to get guardian materials. It's worth the extra time to collect them, as each is required for at least one tech broker item or synthesis recipe. From this leaning tower, turn left and drive towards the outside of the ruin, then turn right at the first archway. You'll see another leaning structure with more destructible panels. As you approach the tower, a Guardian Sentinel will deploy. Engage the Sentinel or collect materials from the tower in any order you feel best. The next pylon is at the base of a collapsed archway, past where the Sentinel emerged. From here, look towards the center of the ruins for another leaning structure between two banks of Guardian obelisks. If you are low on obelisk data, these present an opportunity to collect it, though not all of them work. Look for ones that glow blue when approached. After collecting material from this leaning structure, continue forward past it towards this group of archways. You should find a small, crater-like feature with a pylon in the center. After charging the center pylon, proceed onwards up the rim of the crater on the opposite side. In the distance, there is a row of intact archways that lead to the next pylon. Circle to the right past another leaning material structure, before proceeding along the edge of the ruins to where the archways break away. Drive under the arches down to the end of the row and turn right, where another pylon waits to be charged. From here, we'll return following the arches along the outside until we arrive at this larger archway. There will be another bank of obelisks with a pylon in the foreground. A guardian sentinel will deploy as you approach. Destroy it and charge the pylon. There are three material structures nearby that can be scavenged. One near the pylon, and two more above and behind the main terminal. Once these are scavenged, proceed to the last pylon, located to the right of the main terminal. Once charged, the main terminal will be fully active. Multiple sentinels will deploy across the site in the most aggressive defensive response so far. Engage at will. Once all threats are eliminated, Proceed to the main terminal pad, where this run started from. Pull forward so that the rear of your SRV is near the center of the pad and jettison the Guardian Relic collected earlier. The main terminal should fully activate as soon as the Relic touches the pad. The animation takes about 20 seconds to complete. Switch to a fire group with your data link scanner and scan the floating data core from turret mode. Once scanned, the core will retract immediately. This process can be repeated once per instance for each player in the ruin if you're playing in a group, or as many times as desired for solo players using the menu board flip method. Once scanned, return to your parked ship and load the SRV into it. Once seated in your cockpit, exit to the main menu. This area requires a 15 second countdown wait, but your ship will not change position on reload like the warning says. If you board flip in an SRV, then you will find that your position changes on reload, and you'll be located outside of the ruin. From the main menu, select and reload your game. On loading, the ruins will have reset as a new instance, and the entire activation process can be repeated. This is not the most immersive experience, but it is very efficient compared to bouncing around Guardian space. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.